Hey everyone, Jessica Kubasi here. Today's tutorial is going to be how to whiten teeth. Now, I've read a bunch of comments on other tutorials about how people um, are very confused by the tutorials and they just want something very simple to follow. I'm going to try to make this tutorial very simple. Now, here's an after and that's before. So again, it, this is literally like two layers. Hopefully, I can make this as simple as possible. So let's begin. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually select the teeth. Now, I always start out with a duplicate background layer. So go to Command J and it will duplicate the layer for you. Now, we want to go over to the Magic Wand tool right here. And this is going to help with our selection. So you want to select only the teeth. So if you simply click anywhere, you can see that some of the teeth have been selected. So holding the shift button, so I'm holding shift, see how that little plus sign comes up? If I'm holding shift, it means that I'm adding a selection onto the current selection. So I'm going to press the other teeth. And this isn't going to be a perfect selection, by the way. But as you can see, there's like a little bit over here that I missed. So let's say it misses some teeth. What you want to do is press the Q button on your keyboard. It changes everything into a quick mask. So don't get scared. I know this, is, this looks really like intimidating, but this is just a quick mask. So go to your brush tool. And we are going to, by using, we're using a, a white color, by the way and make sure you pull that hardness up so that it doesn't become fuzzy. So let's, all you wanna do is just complete your selection by selecting the other teeth. And this doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, okay, maybe it does, but when you're doing it, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna try to do it as best as I can. So I'm, well, my coloring skills are really on point today. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So now that I've finalized my selection, all you have to do is press Q again, and it goes back into a selection. Pretty easy, right? Now go to Image, Adjustments, and then we're gonna go to Hue and Saturation. Now you're going to first wanna change it from Master to Yellows, because we are trying to get rid of the yellow. So by lowering the saturation, you can see that it's getting rid of uh, all that yellow color. So, but we don't want it to look too fake. So I wouldn't like go all the way to, you know, don't get too crazy because you don't want it to look fake. So if I like, you know, pull up the lightness just a tiny bit, you can already see that difference. So I'm going to just make sure this is what I want. I'm going to press OK. The very last thing that we're going to do, we're just going to add a little bit of brightness to this. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Curves. Now we're going to make sure that um, the selection was still active. So as you can see, it only selected our selection. Hopefully I didn't confuse anyone. Um, so this means that anything I do will only affect that selection that you just made, which is what we want. We don't want it to affect the rest of the picture. So again, very subtle. We just want to move these curves up just a tiny bit. And there you go. I mean, it really doesn't get more simpler than that as far as whitening teeth go. Um, play around with, again, hue saturation curves but don't get too crazy and make sure that the curves are on a clipped masking layer that only apply to the selection so that like if this wasn't on a selection this is what would happen like the rest of the picture would be all white I mean if you if you don't mind it being the whole picture being brightened but anyways um hopefully I explained this pretty well please let me know if you have any questions at all and thank you so much for watching